Hello and welcome back to the Diary of a Road Doctor. I'm Dr. Jurugo Roberts and today's episode is going to be a little different. I want to share a personal story with you that has been a turning point in my life and career. A few weeks back, I lost my mother to hemorrhagic stroke. She was a wonderful woman, kind and strong. She had always taken care of herself. She was hypertensive but she had her blood pressure under control. She was eating well and staying active. Yet one day, she called complaint of her headache. When we urged her to see her doctor, she shrugged it off. She thought it was just a normal headache and she would be fine. But she wasn't fine. Next day, she collapsed and she never regained consciousness. Her blood pressure was through the roof and a CT scan showed that she had a ruptured blood vessel in her brain. She passed away after three days of being unconscious. Losing my mother was devastating. It was a shock and it left me feeling frustrated, angry and ashamed. I was a doctor and still I am and I couldn't save my own mother. I felt like I had failed her and I didn't want anyone else to go through what we had gone through. As a tribute to my mother, I have decided to change the name of this podcast to the diary of a rural doctor. She was a rural woman and she had always been proud of where she came from. She believed in the importance of community and of taking care of one another and I won't continue her legacy. I remember feeling helpless like I had failed my own mother. As a doctor, I thought I should have done more to prevent her illness. But the truth is, sometimes things happen that are beyond our control. It is a harsh reality, but it is part of life. Losing my mother was a turning point in my life and career, and I realized that I wanted to do more to make a difference in the lives of others. That's why I became a champion of health and disease prevention. I want to educate people on the importance of taking care of themselves and to share my experiences as a rural doctor. In addition to this, I want to use this platform to mentor students who are passionate about public health and medicine. I know how hard it is to secure scholarships for higher education and I want to help others achieve their dreams. I believe that supporting young minds can make a real difference in the world. As I sit here and record this, I can't help but think about my mother and the impact she had on my life. Losing her was a difficult experience, but it taught me the importance of taking care of oneself and others. It taught me that life is fragile and we should never take it for granted. In my community, I have seen many families suffer the loss of loved ones due to preventable illnesses. As a rural doctor, I have dedicated myself to promoting health and wellness and I hope to inspire others to do the same. One of the ways I plan to honor my mother's memory is by using this platform to discuss investment areas for younger professionals to help them uh, become financially independent and stable in a rural setting that is mostly impoverished. I believe that this is an important aspect of promoting health and wellness in rural areas as it can help attract and retain qualified health professionals uh, who might otherwise be deterred by financial insecurity. I want to use this podcast to share my experiences as a rural doctor, the challenges I have faced and how I overcame them. I want to discuss various aspects of health and wellness and provide practical tips that listeners can apply to their daily lives. In addition, I will use this podcast to discuss and demystify some of the common health myths that are prevalent in our communities. There are so many misconceptions out there about health and wellness, and I believe that by dispelling this myth, we can empower people to make better choices and live healthier lives. My mother's death was a tragic event, but it also inspired me to do more to make a difference in the world. It taught me that life is fragile and that we should never take our health for granted. It also taught me the importance of community and supporting one another. That is why I am committed to using this podcast to educate, inspire, and make a positive impact on people's lives. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I hope that together we can create a healthier happier and more informed community if you have any suggestions for future episodes or topics you would like me to cover please feel free to reach out i would love to hear from you that's all for today's episode of the diary of a road doctor 
Thank you for listening and I will see you in the next episode. Remember, take care of yourselves and each other.